it's Monday the 19th of April 2021 I was off the day for a delivery luckily it came very early so I'm gonna have a walk down the river it's a nice day see what's going on down here I enjoyed a trip up to see houses yesterday fish and chips kind of beat them and I uh, use uh, Lewis's fish and chip shop a little bit breeze and here's some ducks over the wall here in the river See where we're up the deer. Let's have a look over here. Oh, the ducks is down there somewhere. Let's see if the microphone just picked them up. I wouldn't expect there'd be too many people down here the deer at this time. Oh, there's a duck down there stand in the water. I'll zoom in but I don't think we'll see it. Might but might hear it now. Red Corp here just passed me and pulled up so they obviously going on the river for a walk. Or whatever, fishing, I don't know. I didn't see anybody get out of it. Might not even be the same car, I'm not sure. Just coming down to the bridge. There's a the river. No excess water like there was the other week, that's for sure. You can like see way down there, the ducks still stand in the water. was too far to video on this little camera. I just came over the bridge. I didn't see there was a guy standing waiting for us to get off the bridge. He says, uh, I thought you were talking to yourself there for a minute. I says, no, no, I was just talking into my camera. Of course, I had me back to them, I think, when I was on the bridge. So, uh, we often say that now. You see people walk along and talking, but the most of the people talking with these little earbuds you've got in your phone, aren't they? And, uh, just talking into the phone. So, that's the first person I've seen. I've got no jacket on the deer, but uh, I've got one in my backpack just in case. Feels a bit cool down here. But, uh, no doubt I'll warm up, and if I don't, well, put the coat on. Hardly any water down here. I mean, the other week it was over the top of them rocks, like. Somebody's left an old shock. Bone dry now. Absolutely bone dry. Compared to the other week, I was plodging through mud coming along here. Right, I'll have a look down here and see a bit of the river. Yes, it looks very nice.
this was also covered in water where I am right now couldn't even see this stone the other week and there we are nice and fresh Bit look down the river there. Lovely. Right. Love Lock Bridge, seems I haven't been for a while. Let's have a little count of the padlocks, I think there was ten. With Casey Mayer's padlock. There's one. Two. Three, four. Five. Five on that side. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was Casey Mears there. Oh, there's another one. Eleven. We've got a combination padlock here. No writing on it whatsoever, but it's a padlock. So I've got 11 now. Oh well, it's one extra. And we'll carry on. Well, I've gotten up to the fish pass. And still only seen one person. So that's good. Very quiet. Still a lot of trees here. And this bit I'm um, always unbelievable how calm it is. Doesn't even <coughs> doesn't even look like it's moving. Until you get to here of course. Water's clear with uh, with the sunshine. As usual, you get the people being down here with the cans, left them just lying there. Yeah, the trees kind of spoil it, but what can you do? Now it's all really. But lovely place to come and visit. Very peaceful. Right, I've, I've just heard a, a woodpecker over there in the trees. It's too far away, it's in the other trees right across the field. Anyway, I'm just going to have a little dash along here. Whew. That didn't take long. <clears throat> Out of breath now. Uh, just passed another girl. Out for a stroll. Get some exercise. In this gorgeous weather we're having. It's lovely. I'm over this way tomorrow. Working on the caravan park 
which is on the other side of the water further up. I'm going up at least that far anyway. I'm not sure if I'm going round the top and through the woods or not yet. I'll decide when I get up there. Little magpies here. Horrible noise them things make. Must be the worst bird call of all. In my opinion anyway. Well there's a thing to report. If you remember I bought a uh, new camera. Insta360 Go to Well I found out it was second hand It was well packed like but uh, It had recordings on it From somebody who had a previous before me So that went back uh, They're very hard to get at the moment in the UK or USA if you want one, you've got to send direct from the factory. I was lucky to get one on, on uh, Amazon actually. But uh, turned out it was second hand, so I'm not paying new money for second hand equipment. So I'll either have to order direct from the factory or wait till they're more ready available. Good camera do lots of things with it, lots of features but uh, no not paying good money for second hand equipment I don't know what he done with it I could see him and everything I don't know what he done with it how long he had it even though it just came out he's obviously had it for a few days at least but it was used so it's on its way back to them that sold as a second hand camera. Well I just stopped for five on me favourite little tree stump. And now I carry on. That tree looked weird. Just like dead. Look at it. Yeah, it looks completely dead. Right. It's another one of them cans down by the what's down by the fish pass. A few sheep in the far field over yonder there. Glorious dear. Well that's brilliant. You never get sick of coming along here like it was lovely just to listen to the river and smell all the nice smells. Seen one fisherman a couple of minutes back. Not many in the river, just the one the day. Some of them are quite well disguised, you hardly know it, some you know. If you're not looking in the river. Almost up to the caravan park. Where I'll be working tomorrow. And uh hope it's a deer like the deer. Caravan park is just over there. Maybe you see the caravan through the trees. This is a little uh, narrow path as well. It's a little bit shaded from the trees, which helps. Anyway, I'll have a quick uh, fly along to the end, I think. Whew. 
Whew. Takes it out here flying along like the six million dollar man. Anyway, I'll just have a bit of look up here and uh, there's a little tree stump up here and uh, have a little five minutes break I think. See they're coming on quite well over there with the uh, with the um, what's it called again the Tuaran part of the caravan park. Got the little beers set out and I presume they're going to concrete them or something. And uh, it's just ready for putting grass down and stuff now like they've got hardcore down for to drive on so I uh, keep an eye on that right have decided to carry on and go through the field and down through the big woods instead of going back along the river so uh, it's a bit of an up uphill walk this bit but it's only a little way so that's not too bad I've got my uh, my zoom camera with it but I've been out to see yet so you never know might say a couple of deer or something up here because uh, on the odd occasion you see uh, a couple of deer in the field but the problem is to see you as well so they tend to run off. Last time I was here, the farmer was planting something in this field just here. So uh, I passed two people while I was having a little rest on that tree stump. Well, two people passed me, sorry. Back in a minute. Right, I'm up on the top. Very out of breath. Need a drink. I'll stop when I get to the woods for a drink. No sign of any deer. The only thing I can see in the distance is a cock pheasant in the field here, but at the far end. No sign of these buzzards today. That's what she got. I see a hen pheasant as well. But uh, lovely weather. Nineteenth of April, twenty twenty-one. By the way, if you enjoy the. Uh, the video you know give it a thumbs up helps the channel and uh, subscribe please if it's your first time here that'd be great last count I had 106 I mean that's nothing compared with some people's got thousands but uh, you've got to start somewhere and uh, as long as I can, I'll be making videos because I like uh, videoing my walks. Brings back good memories on winter nights. You can just have a look back and see what you walk to on a certain time. So um, these woods up ahead, I just cut down through them. I've made plenty of videos inside them woods, of course, but uh, you never know what you're going to see. I nearly went out at five o'clock this morning, but it's still just a little bit dark to see too much, but it'll not be long. 
another week or two and it'll be getting late by four, half past. May get some early morning ones before work and things like that. I still see the male, up, he's right up there now. And the female's just vanished, I don't know where she is. She hasn't flown. She must be just uh, lying down somewhere where I can't kind of see her. Because uh, they blend in with the, with the earth colour. I don't know what that is in the field over there, something white. It's not an animal of any kind, it looks like a big lump of plastic or something. But, uh, anyway, here yeah, we'll go down inside the woods. So I've just came out the woods here and I'm back on the open field. Just stopped for a drink of water, it was red hot. It's gorgeous, gorgeous day. <coughs> you can go two ways, one's up there. I made a video coming down there not long ago. Up there, up the top and then down through the woods. But uh, this way it takes you back to the fish pass again, which at the minute is way over there. Nice in this shade here. And the, if you remember, there was a vehicle here, well a guy here and the vehicle was over there, but they just recently just put this new pool in. For the mains electric. The old one must have been rotten or something. So I'm walking downhill at the moment. It's not always easy to tell if you're going along the flat down up or what, but yeah, down and over the stile, through the next field over the stile and then Wait at the fish pass. Looks like there's something comes up and down here like a truck or something at times. Uh, I mean the, this this place here belongs to the woman over there who I've spoke to a few times and uh, I don't think she has a truck I like. But anyway you never know. Got a few vehicles like a couple of four wheel drives, might be something like that. Another pathway through the bottom there where I've seen them lads go in with the air rifle. Oh, some kind of rifle, anyway. A few weeks ago, when I asked them what you're shooting like, they went just grey squirrels, mate. This is all right. So here's uh, the style. There's never much. There's not much on the other side, like just enough for one foot. Well, anyway, I'm here. Good few magpies over here. One, two, three, four, five. Cock pheasant. Two or three crows. So, yeah, not many people down the other day, which is nice, of course. It's nice to have a place to yourself. This is why I like coming out early in the morning as well, because you see a lot more, usually. And if you get up about, well, in the summer, if you get up very early, 
You hear the old dawn chorus, all the birds singing and twittering on. This is quite a big thing sitting on the fence. Aye. It's absolutely lovely. You can probably hear a bit of breeze just coming across the field there on the microphone. Now get the fish pass anyway. There we are, fish pass again. So I went done a big circle. Just seen a guy walk along here with a fishing rod and a net. I presume he's heading back. He's just up there in front of us. Doesn't look like he caught anything. I don't think they're very big in here anyway, by the way. I've seen one or two jumping and that and they've just been not worth eating. In my eyes, I think. There must be places on the river though where there's some good fish, I presume. Well, it doesn't seem to be down this part, that's for sure. I think this guy's looking for another spot because uh, he just stopped here and looked down there. Well, I mean, I'm not into fishing, so I don't know what I'm looking for, but, but anyway, he stopped there and then he moved on. We'll see if he picks a spot somewhere further down. Just coming up back up to the Lovelock Bridge. I think he's had enough because I've seen him walk over the bridge. Unless he's planning on going to the other side somewhere. Um, there's a couple of women in a car over there with dogs. But uh, they're just unloading themselves. That guy's just standing on the bridge looking at the river. Maybe having a think. Should I head back or, or find another spot? Well, I certainly have walked my breakfast off, that's for sure. I just had a light by the leg with two of of course. But, uh, yeah. One or two ideas what I'm going to have later on for dinner. See how I feel after I have a cup of tea. I like a nice cup of tea when I get back and sit down relax for five. Almost done again. Another walk over with. Absolutely lovely though. Really nice. I think I might uh, have a look down the don't walk later. Maybe around tea time. Just uh, down to the uh, railway station and back. Just to finish the day off nicely. Good day for it. Nearly up to the little bridge where I start from. Ah, it was funny that bloke there, he was just standing beside this tree. He says, I thought you were talking to yourself. Aye. So, not very busy. Four or five. That's all on my full journey. I think I would have maybe passed some more if I'd come back the same way. Because there's not many, it's very rare you pass anybody in the woods. 
very rare. A lot of birds singing. Right, up the stairs we'll go. Back onto the road. Very quiet, it looks deserted. Okay then, that's it for now. Whether I add the do and walk onto this or make them two separate ones, I'm not sure. But anyway, thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe. See you in a bit. Bye for now. Right, um, it's afternoon time on the 19th of uh, April 2021, my second walk of the day. And I'm just having a bit venture down the day walk. Um, just to the railway station and back. Still gorgeous, even though it was a small when I was along the, the river. And. Uh, It's afternoon now, I think it's about three o'clock or something. Um, it's still lovely. Not many people on. At the moment I'm next to the golf course. Just seen a deer, I actually scared it. I just happened to look over this fence and it was having a drink, so it uh, didn't hurry away, just wandered off. These two lasses here has got a dog each. One of them dogs ran down there inside the woods and now she kind of find it. And uh, she's whistling for it and shouting and bowling for it. I kind of say that. So uh, it's one of these things I keep saying. If you can't control your dog, don't let it off a leader. Well, I walked past the two of them, and the dogs nowhere to be seen. Shouting, Harley, Harley, typical example. Can't control your dog. Don't let it off the leader. Obviously, the other one's got hers on the leader because she kind of control hers, but she's not daft enough to let it off. So, there you go. It's run away. It, I've seen it before. It doesn't look a young dog. But obviously had any control over it, so it could be anywhere now. Could be running around could be running around on this housing estate. Could be in somebody's back garden. Could be anywhere. Right, got a buzzard there just above my head. I'm trying to zoom in on it, which is very difficult. Uh, I'm sure we'll see something in the picture. I can't actually see it myself. Through the screen, I mean. And if I get the zoom cam out, it's going to be too far away. Right, so. She's found her dog. Somebody over here has said here's your dog and our mates like read up there so anyway she still hasn't got the dog but uh... so right anyway on we go right i'm just at the uh railway station just been having to sit over there on the seat just admiring the view and uh, I kind of help but think every time I walk along here all the people that stood here over the years waiting for a train coming from concert must have been amazing 
Obviously the train didn't stop on the way back because there's no platform. Oh why? Yeah, I would, eh? Because it was a single track. So it must have been measured out so that, you know, one up, one down. Unless I was passing places somewhere down, not that I know of, but uh, anyway. There's a couple of pictures back there with a couple of guys standing on the platform here and a couple of looking over the top of the wall up there. But uh, yeah, interesting. And above all, glorious deer, as I've been saying all day. Just coming up to the spot where I seen the deer on the way down. And uh, it was just over the top of this fence. This is a golf course here. And uh, I just happened to make a noise and the deer was just down in here having a drink. So uh, I can't see it this time but it's um it just wandered it was just down there i didn't even notice it and it just wandered up there and the way along and around the back but uh probably having a lie doing somewhere now but not to worry so uh, i've seen them all over here all over the place you get them down there and Never seen any more walking along to the railway station. But uh, we'll try some early morning stuff, but to see some bits and pieces.